Hello everyone, I'm back. This is Ultra Dark Slayer, and this is a month update of how I spend my time on my Series S. It's been an amazing experience by far throughout the month that I spent with this console. And yes, these are the games I have on my SSD card. I have enjoyed playing some of these games by far. Yes, I did play the new Halo Infinite. Loved it. Enjoyed it. And then I have to... Then I in, in, uninstall the game. Because there's nothing else left to do. I'll probably wait for an update when they released... Um, um, more stuff for multiplayer. More stuff for the, for the campaign. For multiplayer to kick in. Um, uh... Yeah, I own the Master Chief Collection. It's been on my Xbox One. It got optimized. Played it a little bit with my uh, brother-in-law, which is great. He had a blast, too, because it looks so, so amazing. Uh, I have played, you know, Aliens uh, uh, Fireteam Elite. Fun game. Fun, fun, fun game to play with people online. I played a good amount of Forza. Love how they did, did with the... With the views in Mexico, it was awesome. I play a hell of a lot of Devil May Cry 5. I am a Devil May Cry fan. I do have uh, Devil May Cry 4 on my uh, on my external hard drive there. And uh, I did play the Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 remakes on my, uh, on my uh, Series S off of the SSD card. But of course I transferred them back into my hard drive. And since I did heard an announcement from Capcom saying that Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 2 Remake will get optimized for both PlayStation 5 and on the series consoles, which I will replay them again once they launch the update. And I did beat uh, Resident Evil Village uh, for the second time. You know, uh, it was pretty fun. Love revisiting these games on a different console. And yeah, um, let's see. I did. Uh, I am gonna start playing Cyberpunk. I just bought it like uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I did play uh, like a like one hour of the game when I bought it. It's now optimized. All the updates are there from from what CD Projekt Red did. Because when that game launched on day one, it was horrible on the PS4. And I had to get my money back. But now since all the updates are there. I'm playing it on my Series S. And I will continue playing it. So that's that. I have not touched Mass Effect. Uh, a Legacy Edition yet. I did bought it. Not I didn't get it off Game Pass. I did bought it. Because you never know when games are going to be pulled out. So. So. Uh, yeah. Um, what else? I uh, I got. Uh, Star Wars Fallen Order on Game Pass. You know, I've been playing it for a good amount of a couple hours. I will keep playing the game, finish it, and uh, uninstall it. Because, you know, once the campaign's over, of course, you can revisit campaign, do different stuff, all the abilities you own. So, yeah, I haven't tried to see it Thieves yet. I did download it off of Game Pass. Uh, hopefully, I could check it out soon enough. Uh, yeah, I did. Put Castlevania Symphony of the Night here is one of my favorite uh, 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 Metroidvania kind of games. Love love it. Um, yeah, uh, I have played uh, Star Wars Over Public. Um, it's good. It's fun. Uh, I'll I'll try to pick it up again. Of course, I'm I've been dueling here and there, but only on story mode. You know, I'm not that great of competing other people online but all in all it's been great i love using the game pass i love using whatever games i can probably own when when they're on sale um of course i did buy devil may cry 5 resident evil 8 um mass effect uh legacy edition 
uh, at a good amount of price, you know, especially, you know, um, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 remake. They had a bundle on a good price, almost like 27 bucks, which is great, you know, because, you know, uh, Game Pass Ultimate does come with gold, so it does help to bring some of that money down. And by far, I've been having a blast, you know. Now, I know a lot of people have been hating on this little guy. I mean, oh, it's not powerful enough. Oh, it doesn't do much enough. Oh, it looks like a speaker. Sure, it may it may have its flaws, like a uh, and bits of of tech inside this this console. But all in all, I love this thing. Good price. Lots of fun. And have I had any problems with it? No. Because I've been taking good care of it. It's been a good month. And uh, I am I have been rocking this system for the whole month. Love it. Can't wait to play more games on it. And speaking of more games. I know everyone has heard that Guardians of the Galaxy is coming to Game Pass this month. I can't wait to play that game. Because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. It's like, wait, I have Game Pass. Will they put that game on Game Pass? And they will. And they will. And I know a lot of people already bought the game on day one. That's cool. You know, you want the game. You get it on day and date, you know. Because uh, when that game came out, I was still on the PlayStation 4. I was like, nah, I'll wait till it gets cheaper. But since I got this and Game Pass, and when I heard that Guardians of the Galaxy was coming out on Game Pass, I was like, yes, I am definitely going to down uh, install that game into my hard drive on the memory card, play it, have fun. And that's how Game Pass works. You know, once the game drops, you install it, and it's there, and it's yours if you want to keep playing it. Or you just play for a while and then you're like, nah, I think I'm done playing with this game. I'll just go and uninstall it. But, you know, it's it's great, you know. I, I, especially that I've been, we all have been hearing things that Sony over there at PlayStation are making their own version of Game Pass. And uh, that's cool and all, but I I hope they do it right on their side because I, I, I don't know. I mean, doing a paywall to get backwards compatibility is kind of like, what? Why can you just send a software that you can allow players to play backwards compatibility games if you have the disc? <laughs> I mean... Come on, uh, Microsoft has a f the feature that allows you to play any game in their library if you have the disc. All you have to do is insert the disc. It'll send a signal into the in, into the internet and over over at the over at Microsoft's company. You know the 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 their 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 servers say, "Oh, this person wants to play this game on on their Series X." Here you go, boop. It is. It's kind of like it's kind of like putting a key into your car and you turn it on. You know, it's like oh, I'm, um, I'm, I'm reading your key. It's you're turning on the car. You know, but but a paid wall for backwards compatibility on Sony on PS Five. Why a lot of people have discs for these older games. Why are they making? Why, why, why? I've been hearing rumors about that, but I hope they fix something with 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 the with this rumor. And don't get me wrong, there's also backwards compatibility on the Switch too, uh, on 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 the uh, on um uh, on Nintendo Online service. You know, you can play your your classic Nintendo games, your Super Nintendo games, and now your N64 games. Yes, they are on a paywall because they don't have time or 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 or, or money to make uh 
all these games into ports, which they can. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. yes, I'm making noise. Give me a minute. Ah, here, here, here it is. Oops, I dropped something. Yes, they have, they made this, you know, it has, this is technically a port. And they put three games in one cartridge. You know, it has Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy, which I haven't played yet. I'll pick all the stuff up after this. But, but yeah, I understand that, that, that Nintendo is doing like a backwards compatibility paid wall because they have so much games. But, but, but Sony, what are you doing? You, you have, People have all these discs lying around in their in their basements or or their attics. They 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 could just put the disc into your system and there you go. But uh, who am I who am I to say? You know, I mean, if you're gonna do a paid wall backwards compatibility, uh, well, well, I I mean, can you be my guest? You know, you're you're Sony. I I hope you guys fix this. But enough about that but anyway i'm 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 just having a a blast you know uh playing my favorite games uh games i haven't even played yet you know uh uh tonight i'm i'll be playing uh some cyberpunk you know or maybe like a couple more hours on playing this or or just jump into see it you see how that looks if i like it i'll keep playing as long as it's still on Game Pass, otherwise I will have to buy it. But we'll we'll, we'll see, uh, including Forza, Forza Five, you know, um, you know, it's it's just that Microsoft is killing it with their Game Pass Ultimate. You know, you install a game, whatever you want on their library, play it. If you like it, you can either Keep it on Game Pass, or you can buy it. It's just it's just like Game GameFly. I don't know if GameFly is still around, but you know if you rent a game from them, if you like it, you buy it, and then they send you like a like a like a cover art uh, a, a case. So say, oh, this person has the game. We'll send them the case, and it's theirs. So that's technically what what Microsoft's doing. They're letting you try these games. Play them, and if you think that the game is gonna go away, it's that oh no, they're gonna get rid of my favorite game off of off of Game Pass. Maybe I could buy it on a cheaper price, and and that's awesome. They're giving people a choice to either just play the games on Game Pass. If you feel that it's gonna go away, you can just buy it, and it's yours. That's that's what I did with the. Uh, with Mass Effect uh, Legacy, because you never know when that's gonna go away. Even though it's, I don't think it's gonna go away off of Game Pass at all. But I, 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 I do love Mass Effect, so that's why I bought it. Um, but, but yeah, and that's the thing. It's, it's you know, it's like if you were subscribed to, let's try another service. Uh, Netflix. Netflix has a lot of shows and movies, right? But you can't buy them of course uh you know technically you own all of them because you have the service you can watch as much shows as you want much movies as you want you can put them on your on your list or you can take them out when you're done you know it's like it's like uh here and oh and uh, uh i'll just i'll just get get rid of it you know it's it's just like what the game pass is doing but this is kind of like Game, Pla game Pass. Um, let's see, like, um, let's see, a game, GameFly 2.0. Let's just say that. It's like, you try out a game, you like it, you keep playing, and you decide, oh, uh, I want to buy it. It's like, okay, here, here's the license, and it's officially yours. And I love the idea of Game Pass. I, I love it. You know, and I love using my my console as also watching YouTube, watching Disney Plus, 
watching Netflix and so forth and so on because you know it it's optimized to 4K immediately and I have been seeing my other games let's go back to games please uh games more brighter more detailed you know but uh this yeah this might be a, a good 4K TV but I do need a UDIT uh a U what H D T V because this is not HD, I mean a UHD TV, you know, this is just a regular 4K TV that is still usable to play next-gen games, but I would like to have a better TV. So, so that's my, that's, that's my next step, is just get a better TV, you know, that can do more for my Series S. But for right now, it's doing its job, it's still showing good picture on my TV so I'm still happy about that. So, um, all in all, guys, this console still easy to buy and to find on any retail. So, for those of you who has a Series X, congratulations. You got a Series X. Please don't shame this console that it lacks power, okay? Not a lot of people can get a Series X like everyone else can. Please, this console is still great. I love this console. Affordable, easy to find, and and, and just right down, not adorable because it's so small. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, we're all Xbox people. We have an Xbox, whether it's a... Uh, Xbox, Xbox One, an Xbox One X, an Xbox One One S, a Series S, or a Series X. We're all on the same community, so please stop hating the Series S. I don't hate the Series X because of, oh, it's oh, it's too big, oh, it's too expensive. No, I could buy a Series X if I wanted to, sure, but. I'm happy that I got a Series S next-gen gaming console. So, let's just have fun and be done with it. Now, I believe that's all I were I, I get to say. The updates, excitements, hearing whatnot about Sony as well. <coughs> well, <clears throat> excuse me. But, yeah, that's my update. About everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing some cyberpunk. And enjoy myself. So until next time guys. I'll do another monthly update. Or maybe. In a couple of weeks or so. But we'll see. So. Take care of yourself guys. And for those. Uh, over in Ukraine. Uh, please. Uh, be careful. Be well. I know it's. Uh. This is a tragic time right now. Just hang in there, guys. Hang in there. All the countries in the world are watching you. Please stay strong, Ukraine. This is uh, Hojo Dark Slayer. Peace out, guys. Take care of yourselves. Respect one another. We're all on the same team together on Team Xbox or Team Nintendo Switch or Team Sony. So please... We're all gamers here. Peace and love. Peace and love. We're all gamers. Peace out, guys.